Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 55 in chapter 9. In this one, in this chapter, we still talk about the little momentum conserved. And when you look at this problem, it may be a little bit difficult, but we can plot a graph to have a better understanding about it. You can see it tells us a nucleus at rest and decays, right? So first of all, the, the initially the momentum is zero, agree, because it's stationary. And this nucleus include into two parts, into a second nucleus, electrons and neutrons. So it in, it is just uh, decays into three parts, one, two, three, agree? And then the momentum for this uh, electrons is given. And uh, for the neutron is given, and we know this angle is 90 degree. So this is uh, tell us. Now we need to determine the magnitude and direction of the nucleus. So this one is unknown, and this angle theta is unknown. We need to find it. How can we do that? We can consider linear momentum. Agree? For linear momentum, initial momentum equals to the final momentum. And there we need to take attention. The momentum is a vector. So we write it in the vector format. Agree? So this equation is there. The linear momentum is conserved. And now we can consider linear momentum is conserved in the x component and conserved in the y component. Agree? So in the x component, initially it's zero. No problems. And finally, we can say, look at the x component. We can use the momentum of, of nucleus cosine theta projected in the x component. So cosine theta minus the momentum for the neutrons there. And then at the y component, momentum is still conserved. Initially, it's zero. Finally, we project this neutron, the nucleus momentum to the sine theta projected in the vertical component. So this one projected in this, so the this length is just the size, right? Minus the momentum for electrons. Now we can solve this two equation there, right? And then we can get the tangent theta, just use this function divided by this function. We get tangent theta, and this two is given. So very easily you get the tangent theta, and after you get the tangent theta, you can find the momentum for nucleus. Thank you.